Hey guys, it's Sophie Jaffe from Philosophy, and today we are making a delicious matcha smoothie. It's gonna have green dream in it, and matcha, and all these other yumminesses, so get ready. Okay, so start with your base. I'm using this yummy flax milk. It's a mix of rice, hemp, and flax. You could use any non-dairy milk. Almond would be really good in this. I'm making enough for one, so I'm gonna do about eight ounces in my blend tech. And then I'm going to add ice. Hold on one second. And I'm doing two handfuls of ice. And then I'm gonna do a tablespoon of our lovely green dream powder. That will add 10 grams of protein to this. I usually eyeball. Done it, done it once or twice before. I'm doing a teaspoon of matcha. This is a high grade, really nice medicinal matcha. Try and find one that doesn't have any added sugar or too many other things in it to fill it up. This green color, I don't know if you can see. Is that good, Quinny? Yeah. Yeah. So green and beautiful and fluffy and smells amazing. Add that right in there. And I'm going to do some vanilla. This is just pure vanilla, Madagascar vanilla extract. I'm going to do a splash or two. I would say like a half teaspoon for those measure people out there. I'm going to be using um, this ashwagandha, which is a balancer for the thyroid, and it's a very potent root. Um, it's really good for calming your energy. So it's a good like balancer for the matcha. And that, oh no, then a banana. I'm gonna do a frozen banana. I'll do half of one. You could do a whole one. And then I'm doing a teaspoon of my green dream green bee manuka honey. Super yummy. You could also just do stevia here or you could do um, agave, you could do another type of honey or maple syrup. I think I already said stevia, but that's an option. Um, matcha is a really great, I'm on day four of no coffee, and it's really more about the coffee and like the intensity, the draining properties for your adrenals of coffee specifically, and then it's really hard on your digestive system. Um, it's just really taxing and um, a little bit's okay in moderation, just like a lot of other things, but I feel like I, you know, I had a headache until yesterday. I was day three still, like, with a serious headache from the caffeine withdrawals. I'm like, I don't want to be that, you know, that much of a slave to something. So, for me, it's more like a personal thing. It's not that I was having 100 cups a day. It's just like, I want to give my body a break. So, matcha still has caffeine in it, but it has a lot less. And um, the way that it kind of moves through your system, it's just more stabilized and um, slower as opposed to coffee where it's like an instant up and then a crash. So this doesn't really have that, um, which is why I like it so much. And it is a very ceremonial green tea. Um, it's used all over the world, especially in China for ceremonies. And um, you can have this hot or cold, but we're making a cold smoothie today. And yeah. That's why I like it so much. Mm. That's it. We're going to blend. <laughs> Matcha smoothie drink. So refreshing. I would, if you're making this into a meal, um, this is more of a snack smoothie for me right now, a refreshing kind of like upper, I'm going to go pick up the kids soon, it's almost 3 o'clock and I don't want to have coffee, um, but I want my greens. This is a really awesome thing to have as a snack, but if you want to make this into a meal, you could just add a tablespoon or two of our coconut butter, a tablespoon or two of almond butter, cashew butter, something that has a little bit more protein in it, or like more green dream, but this is pretty delicious. I might have already taken the taste, but... It's really good. It could be a little bit sweeter, so I would have probably added a full banana if I could do it all again. So use a full banana and we'll make that in the notes so that you know it, okay? Bye.